around here in Hampton Roads, that rain is really coming down, Rochelle. Yeah, you know, sometimes when we talk about snow to rain, it's a 10 to 1 ratio. So if we got 0.7 inches of liquid, that would equal 7 inches of snow. So all the rain that we're seeing today, thankfully it's not snow because we would have scenes like that in other parts of the country. Let's take a look now over the Outer Banks. This is Duck, North Carolina, everybody. Those raindrops just sprinkling from the sky, and it's not just in North Carolina. It's across the entire viewing area, and it's been the past few hours. Take a look at radar. We've had the greens, the golds, the oranges, and even some reds and purples indicating some pockets of very heavy rain over the past six hours here across Hampton Roads in northeastern North Carolina. Let's zoom into northeastern North Carolina. The Outer Banks, for the most part, the entire Outer Banks, dealing with at least moderate to heavy rain, even some thunderstorms moving into parts of Dare County, mainland Dare County, Juan Cheese, Kill Devil Hills, Nags Head, all dealing with that moderate to heavy rain. You're seeing the golds and the oranges down there in North Carolina. Looking at the eastern shore, that's the other area where we're seeing some of the heavier rain. Remember the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel under a level four wind restriction. We also have some breezy to gusty winds across the area with some of these storms. We're seeing more oranges around Onancock, Exmoor, Cape Charles, all the way up to Chincoteague and even Wallops Island, all dealing with the rain at this point. The heavier rain that is. Everyone's dealing with the rain still after midnight, but maybe just a little bit lighter, even just hearing some of the rain on top of the roof here at 32 News now kind of letting up just a little bit so we can expect that pattern to continue across the area. By 6 a.m. we're dealing with mainly dry conditions, at least falling from the sky. A few isolated showers, maybe a leftover storm pushing out to sea, but by noon tomorrow, Jacqueline, look at this sunshine oh, is what we're expecting. Rarity, <laughs> but it, yeah, very rare across the area. It feels like across the board tonight. Temperatures dropping down into the 40s, still with the chance for storms, breezy to gusty winds. Rainfall over the next couple of days, mainly going to be for today, anywhere between about a quarter of an inch and seven quarter or three quarters of an inch across the area. So tomorrow few morning showers will have some gradual clearing during the second part of the day. We'll have some sunshine breaking through still with a northwesterly wind. The seven day forecast. However, everybody it's going to be pretty mild for a few days. Take a look at this. So Monday we do have that chance for a few early morning rain showers. If you're heading out, Make sure you check in with Daybreak team. We're going to be they're going to be watching the rain showers and any issues potentially on the roads. But after that, we'll have clearing sky sunshine Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe even part of Friday as well. But the temperatures, that's something else we're going to watch for. We have that cold front pushing through right now, so it's going to drop us down into the 40s the next couple of days. Wednesday, maybe 40 if you're on the warmer side of things, but then we're going to warm things mm. back up heading into the weekend. Well, at least the rain will go away, so that's good. Yeah, something else is going to go away. We're setting those clocks forward next weekend, too. <sighs> so, Looking forward to that. So this is good sleeping <laughs> weather before we get into next weekend. All right, thank you so much, Rochelle.